Disclaimer. These videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Vermilion Bayou, located in Lafayette Parish, Louisiana, on the 17th of April, 1863. The Confederates retreated away from Union General Nathaniel Banks and his forces, and had now reached Vermilionville, a city now known as Lafayette, Louisiana. There they crossed the Vermilion Bayou, burning a bridge behind them. Thinking they were safe enough to rest, they made camp for the night. Union General Banks was not in the mood to wait, though, and even as the bridge burned, he pushed forward and engaged the Confederate skirmish line. Banks didn't realize the Confederate artillery positions had been set up, and they unleashed a huge artillery barrage that pushed the Union troops back. Union artillery returned fire into Confederate artillery positions, and both sides utilized artillery for a couple of hours, trying to get the upper hand. Eventually, the Confederates pulled back to Opelousas. Banks pushed forward, trying to utilize the moment and seize control of Bayou Tech, the Atchafalaya River, and the Red River, up to the outskirts of Alexandria itself. His mission to cut off Port Hudson's supply line was a success, and this set the stage for a later fight. Casualties were not reported for either side of this battle. Join us again next time on Things You Should Know, Civil War Edition. Mm -hmm.